selectable hydrostatic front wheel drive for more flexibility coupled with low fuel consumption and high payload. The selectable front wheel MAN hydro drive enables the driver to master situations and conditions that would be too much for vehicles with simple rear wheel drive. At the heart of the hydrostatically driven motors is a block of eight cylinders in a star-shaped arrangement and connected to the wheel hub. Inside the cylinders are special pistons and attached to each piston head are rotating rollers. These contact the wavy contour of a peripheral cam ring. When MAN hydrodrive is engaged, a pump flanged onto the gearbox output applies up to 420 bar pressure to the wheel hub motors. These are made to turn because certain cylinders are alternately pressurized while at the same time oil is able to flow out of the others. The pistons of those cylinders under pressure are pressed outwards. The rollers brace on the cam ring and torque is produced. When more traction is needed, turning the lock switch suffices to keep a vehicle moving and avoid delays and expense, or, put another way, keep to schedule and improve efficiency. Vehicles supported by MAN Hydrodrive are much more flexible in use because they can be driven efficiently on normal roads as well as on unpaved surfaces. Despite the expanded spectrum of use, payload and fuel consumption are on a par with those of a rear-wheel driven vehicle. Compared to a vehicle with conventional all-wheel drive, there is a weight saving of about 400 kilograms. MAN Hydro Drive is available for a variety of vehicles from two to four axle configuration. As the first manufacturer of commercial vehicles, MAN premiered the hydrostatic front wheel drive, called the MAN Hydro Drive for short, for trucks as early as 2005. Your MAN has a much broader range of operation. You also use less fuel and the vehicle is up to 400 kilograms lighter than a conventional all-wheel drive. Examples of typical operating conditions are slippery surfaces like mud, ice or snow. From a business point of view, you save time and money as you can avoid the complex process of having to tow vehicles that have become stuck. In short, a distinct competitive edge in transport reliability and schedule adherence. The most important system components are the power takeoff with integrated clutch for the pump connection, the hydraulic oil cooler with its own fan, two hydraulic wheel hub motors and the hydraulic pump with a control valve block. If the MAN hydro drive is now activated, a pump flanged on the gearbox output supplies pressure of up to 420 bar to the wheel hub motors. In the cylinders that are under pressure, the piston is pushed outwards, the rollers rest against the cam ring and torque is produced that drives the front wheels. The MAN hydro drive can be activated below a speed of 28 km per hour, even under load, using a rotary switch on the instrument panel. The system automatically switches off if the speed increases above 28 km per hour. However, the system re-engages if the speed drops below 23 km per hour. After the MAN hydro drive is activated, the rotary switch is also used to activate any other locks. First, the transverse lock is activated between the rear axles and then the rear axle is locked in a crossways direction. The MAN hydro drive significantly increases traction on slippery surfaces. The effect of the MAN hydro drive is particularly efficient with empty loads and when manoeuvring with a low load on the rear axle. The gradeability, for example, of an unloaded semi-trailer tractor without all-wheel drive is only a maximum of approximately 7.5% on unpaved terrain. 
the MAN Hydro Drive can handle gradients of 20%. A vehicle with a driven front axle combined with a high brake force of the MAN pre Tarder can be manoeuvred much more safely on slippery downhill gradients than a vehicle with pure rear wheel drive. When driving on the road, a vehicle with the MAN Hydro Drive consumes exactly the same low amount of fuel as a vehicle without all-wheel drive. Body compatibility is maintained without limitation, as all required components can be attached under the vehicle frame, so that they are protected and do not extend beyond the top edge of the frame. For payload intensive operation, the MAN Hydro Drive offers a payload gain of around 400 kilograms. Heavy components like transfer cases, planetary front axles or prop shafts are not required. The body's center of gravity is low, thanks to the low frame height, which ultimately reduces the risk of tipping and improves driving stability when cornering. MAN is also the first choice with Hydro Drive, designed to be consistently efficient.